So you want one jacket for all conditions, totally bomb proof, that will keep you dry and comfortable in the gnarliest conditions that you can wear every single day in the winter. I've got a pick for you. The 2019 Climb Valdez Parka. Now Climb redesigned this piece last year for 2018. They took one of their most successful, the most durable, high performance jackets they had re-engineered it into what this jacket is today. If the Valdez jacket was a truck, it'd be the $100,000 Platinum Edition. Fully loaded, heated seats, 12-inch touchscreen, cruise control, self-parking. It has so many bells and whistles that you don't even know what to do with yourself. It's got all the high-tech gore material, venting, everything. This jacket's got everything. Before we dive in, I'm Ross Robinson, Backcountry Snowmobiler, and Fun having bro or something, I don't know. Bringing you guys videos, reviews, everything snow related all winter long. People are pretty excited about these gear reviews. They say that they're super in depth, which they are. That's why they're eight minutes long most of the time. Bringing a lot of value and I'm grateful that I can do that for you guys. So links in the description below, let's go. So the first thing that we noticed when we put on a Valdez Parka is this thing is burly. It's heavy duty. It's got Gore-Tex Pro Shell instead of the performance shell that a lot of the other climb pieces have. So it's like triple layer Gore-Tex, super burly, extremely tough and durable. So if you guys have issues with ripping or tearing other gear, this is the stuff for you. It's the most durable gear that Climb makes and uh, there's a reason it has the high price point is because it is the tip top in performance. So one of my favorite features about the Valdez jacket from Climb is the Pro Shell Gore-Tex and one of the great things about it is when you open it up, there's no drop in. There's nothing in between you and the Gore-Tex. So that allows it to work really efficiently and also it makes the jacket lightweight for as heavy and durable as it is. You can actually see on along the sides when you put it on, the taped seams, so you know it's 100% waterproof, really nicely done, and uh, just very well built. When you put this jacket on brand new, it's kind of crunchy. It will take a few rides to break in and get really comfortable, but the things that they've addressed with this jacket last year is it's more roomy in the shoulder, giving the rider a little bit more freedom of movement compared to the old jacket. It, it might not be lighter in weight, but it feels lighter on your body because there is no drop in. It is just a true hard shell um, of a jacket. Other features that I love about this is the venting. There's so many vents on this jacket. Two on the arm alone. One on the wrist, one on the upper arm. So you guys can really regulate temperature in this heavy duty jacket, allowing you to ride in it even in late season spring conditions. So two on the arm, now we move to the back. We have our backpack friendly vents back here. So one of the coolest features on this jacket that Climb has brought is an integrated backpack pass-through for your hip strap on your backpack. A lot of guys don't like the feeling of a super tight backpack strap around the outside of their jacket. So what they've done is on the side here, this zipper opens up and you can pass through right into the middle of your jacket. So do that on both sides, hook up your backpack, zip that zipper back up around the backpack strap and proceed to zip up your, your jacket and then you don't have your backpack strap really tight around your waist. It's hidden under your jacket, protected, won't allow snow to build up around that and give you a little bit more mobility and that look that a lot of guys are looking for. Something that Climb's been working on, really cool, exciting. Have not used that feature that much because I don't mind that feeling of my backpack and it does slow down your time to take your backpack on and off. And I like to take mine on and off quite a bit when I'm stopped or taking a break and whatnot. So looking more at some pockets, we have our two chest pockets. Pretty small pockets in the chest. One has the goggle chamois as a lot of the climb pieces do that you've seen me review. Coming to the inside, on the inside here, our uh, cell phone pocket with headphone pass-through if you're into that. Other side, same pocket, no headphone pass-through. Built-in powder skirt. An absolute necessity for mountain riding. Uh, adjustable waist on the bottom so you can hem that out like I always do. I hate having kind of a big round bottom on my jacket. I like it to be snug around my hips. Two big pockets down around 
your hips as well. Now, one major thing about this jacket is it, is, it does fit more typical to climb standards of the tailored trim fit. When I reviewed the Storm jacket, uh, that is a much looser, free-feeling fit than this jacket, and they do feel quite a bit different. So if you're looking for the classic climb fit and feel, the Valdez is the one for you. It's so durable, so waterproof. It's the one jacket that you'll need all season long. This thing has so many bells and whistles. Venting, fleece lined collar, Gore-Tex Pro Shell, shoulder pads, no hanging liner, heavy duty front zipper, laminated accessory zippers, integrated hand gaiters, Cordura underlays, 3M Scotch line, flective. And that's just a few of the things that this jacket has going on. Let's get to colors. The jacket that I was wearing, this guy right here, the blue, pretty sweet, the classic all black from Climb with yellow Climb lettering. The gray with high vis accents and red zippers, pretty sweet. And a classic orange with orange accents and uh, gray paneling. Now with all of this, you're gonna have to pay the price for it because this is Climb's most expensive uh, uninsulated jacket. And uh, because of all these features, that's what it's gonna cost. Coming in at $499.99, the Valdez Parker from Climb, unless you're 3X. If you're 3X, you gotta bust out $530 for this thing, but let me tell you, if you're gonna invest in one jacket for all season long, and you need it to last, and you want it to last not just this season, but the season after that, and the season after that, and the season after that, then this is the jacket for you. Totally durable. In all of my seasons wearing the Valdez jacket from Climb, I've never worn one out to the point where I needed to replace it. It continues to hold up and be an amazing jacket year after year and season after season, especially for you guys out there. If you're just a weekend warrior and you wanna invest in the jacket that will stay together for the longest time, not only keep you dry, but can also keep you safe in a survival, don't call me, I'm doing videos. For me personally, in my style of riding, it's not my perfect jacket. It is a really good second or third place jacket for me when it comes to the climb lineup, but they have like 20 jackets to choose from, so it can be hard to make the right decision. But if you guys are looking for that jacket, that investment jacket that is really durable, this is the one for you. And uh, it's kind of Climb's pinnacle piece. And uh, yeah, it's really insane. So if you want it, check it out. Uh, link below to go buy it. Uh, I've got you guys all linked up. You can go check out Climb's entire catalog. Also, connect with me. Let me know what you guys think. I'm always answering comments, messages, all that kind of stuff. Just want to keep you guys in the loop. Thanks for watching. My name's Roscoe, and we'll see you later.